Hey everybody, this is Paul. Um, going to post a video today for the Inside PA Training, my PA Training blog. We call it Inside PA Training. Um, have a special guest today. It's my classmate Sundance, who has been awesome to agree to be here. Um, Sundance is a first year PA student in, our, in my class. Uh, she has a unique perspective in that she has also been a medical student um, here at UC Davis in the same school, different program. So I thought it might be helpful to pick her brain about what it's been like, um, what's different, what's the same, uh, what's been hard or easy for her. So can you just tell us your story a little bit? How did you get where you are? <laughs> uh, short or long version? <laughs> um, whichever you prefer, whatever is easier. Uh, the short, I mean, the short answer I think is um, just so my experience in the medical school, you know, was. Um, you know, kind of a long path from high school dropout through community college to having this goal of being in medical school, which kind of surprised me. We thought it was impossible, so the perfect thing to pursue. Never really thought I'd get in, got in. So I felt really lucky to be there um, and kind of awed and, and humbled by the kind of privilege to be in medical school. Um, and uh, so, that's as opposed to those who have been maybe children of doctors to kind of really see themselves there. For me, it was kind of a cultural shock. Um, and um, so the other side of that is that I felt um, kind of overwhelmed by the experience. Um, so why did I consider being a PA? Um, the short of it is I got pregnant um, near the end of my second year of medical school. And, and I want to throw out here from from what you told me, yeah. you you left in good standing. You know, you were doing fine, but yeah. it was a choice you made. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought for sure. I didn't know for sure that I'd finish medical school, but I thought for sure it would be because I couldn't finish it, not because I would want to not finish it. Um, so it was kind of uh, basically a rearranging of priorities for me. Uh, both um, getting really excited about. Um, you know, being a parent, but also having my maternity leave as time to reassess what I wanted to do with my career in medicine. Um, it seemed like empirically all the questions, or all my needs would be satisfied as a PA. Um, when I, let me be kind of more specific, I always have always been passionate, particularly when I go into medicine about patient care, um, being in the room with the patient. Um, and, and so that's about it. I mean, since I've been in there, you know, a little bit longer, I understand that there are more things that you can do that are really exciting. But I definitely, I feel pretty firmly that I'm not like crazy about research, for example, or crazy about, um, um, being in charge of a lot of people or being the final word. So those were kind of some distinctions that I was, um, able to sift out once I started, um, entertaining the idea of maybe versus an MD. What is the specific difference? Um, the ability to, um, you know, hang your shingle and have your own clinic is more understood to be something that a doctor can do. So we're starting to hear things in that or sitting around with peers that peers are having their own clinics in some way. Um, but also kind of not having to defer to anybody. Um, with a fear that I have that, you know, what if I am working for a doctor I don't like? Um, and so one of the things that was most important to you was you were working with patients. Um, whether that was as an MD or a PA was not as important to you. Yeah, say. yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm sure people are wondering, kind of, how do you see the difference between the two? Your experience of what medical school is like, what PA school is like, and positive and negative for both, mm -hmm. if you will. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I don't think I can speak frankly as a PA student. I think that um, because I have this ridiculous foundation um, so far. So, in as a PA student, I've only been in the classroom really. I haven't had the opportunity to be in the clinic yet. So, didactic work, PA school is um, incredibly manageable, but that's just two years of medical school didactic experience. So that's what I mean when I say I can't speak frankly of like what it is to be a new PA student. I find the quality of the information that is presented to us, um, maybe the negative side of the point is that it's quick and dirty, but positively, it's much more user friendly. So in class, I feel like we get to be told as PA students what our patient wants to know, the question that our patient wants to ask us. For example, 
what's the cold? Why is my eye red? What um, what are the interactions of this medication? You know enough to really be able to answer the the questions that our patients are going to have. Whereas in medical school, there's no, that's not a priority. The priority is let me give you a really broad basis of information so that you can specialize someday. But I, you know, I found myself say around the Thanksgiving table, your family members come up to me and say, "What's this?" or "What's coming from me that?" And I, it was embarrassing. I knew nothing in medical. School. I knew a lot in medical school, but nothing that any of my peers or family members wanted uh-huh. to know. Whereas as a PhD student, I feel really excited to go into the clinic and. Um, Which you're going to be doing here in a couple months. We yeah, we shot out a little in bit, and I just feel incredibly months. well prepared. I do not remember feeling that way as a medical student going into clinic, the student run clinic. I felt totally stressed out, and um, like I was learning things that were not applicable. Okay. I'm sure they're applicable later. It's just an eight year track versus a two year track. So we are. And you were using that term user friendly. Um, when you when you say user friendly, do you mean it's easier or it's more useful or the latter? It's more useful. So you feel like the stuff that you're learning in PhD school has a more sort of immediate um, uh, usefulness. Yeah, yeah. And what's great uh, as a provider, I'm excited to um, you know to understand the pathology and pathophysiology to the extent that my patients can understand it. So as a medical student. You know, we're learning the um, biochemistry of interactions and maybe stuff that's pretty hot and intense right now. Mm-hmm. That's not really helpful for my patient's treatment. But more helpful for my patient's treatment is what is the anatomy? What is kind of the basic chemistry of what's going on? What is the basic physics that's going on? And what is the treatment going to provide for them? And I'm going to continue to know a little bit more than they do, but I do feel like I'll be a better translator of, you know, what's going on medically with their body than if I was using all the information I had as medical school. But again, I didn't finish medical school, so not to say that I wouldn't get there. You were, you were knee deep in it though, from what I understand. So. Yeah. Um, we got a, I guess a couple more minutes, um, and I got a couple, I could, I could talk to you for hours, and, and you uh, know each other well, we do, but um, in terms of what would be useful for other people, I'm wondering about um, how was it that you came to make that decision? I mean, you told me the story of being out with a faculty member in the medical school. Yeah. Can you share that with me? Um, I did a lot of interviewing of PAs and MDs, and the skeleton of my question was to the PA, when do you wish you were a doctor? And to the doctor, if the doctor knew what a PA was, was when are you saying to yourself, thank goodness I'm a doctor? Um, and it took me a while of hearing over and over from the PAs saying, uh, not often. Not, not often do I wish I were an MD. Do I wish there's uh-huh. a lot I can do. You know, there, there are limits. So it's like, you know, if you want to really change the system, if you really want to change the system, they're, they're, they're frustrated with that. Um, uh, so, so the the word politics came into the study a lot, which I can't say totally understand what politics are yet as a student. But then the doctors who, so doctors who work with PAs were saying, um, not often. <laughs> to the to the when do you say thank goodness I'm a doctor? They were saying versus the PA. They're saying I don't know, not often. There's not much that you know, um, I can do that my that a PA that I really trust can't do. So um, one doctor, a specialist I talked to in Stanford said, you know, one job that I have that my PAs don't have is that I figure out how much responsibility to give my team, whereas my team, they just do everything that I do. So, We're running out of time. Super quick. Are you glad you made this decision? Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Sure. I really appreciate it.